Good morning, Grade Sevens. Today we're going to start a new topic called accounting concepts. Now, first of all, we need to understand what accounting is. And accounting provides information about what a business has done with the money that it has earned. The owner of the business will employ an accountant to provide this information. Because this information helps the owner to understand how the business is doing and it enables him to make decisions about the future of the business. Um, what are the accounting concepts? Well, there are three of them. There are capital, assets and liabilities. Capital is what a business needs to start and to keep going. This money comes from the owner of the business. To start a business, he has to put money in. Now, this can be his own money or it can be borrowed from a bank. And we call the money that is put in by the owner the capital. The capital doesn't have to just be money. If the owner of the business needs a car in order to run his business, his car can also be put in as owner capital. Um, other things that can be put into businesses are desks, property, furniture, computers. Anything that is needed to start the business. The assets of a business are the possessions of a business. Now, a business would use its assets to provide customers with a product or a service. For example, if we think of a hairdresser, the assets of that business would be the hair dryers, the basins, the chairs, and, and so on. Now, you're probably thinking that assets sound very similar to capital. Well, there is definitely an overlap. But the capital is what is needed to start the business. And the assets are the possessions of the business. Now, assets could also be land, and buildings. They could be equipment, vehicles or money. Now let's look at the liabilities. Liabilities are the debts of a business. Spelt D-E-B-T-S. Now the debts of a business are the loans. It's what the business owes. So where the business has borrowed money from a bank or another person, they owe that back. Not necessarily straight away, it can be paid off over time. They can also be amounts of money owed to suppliers. If your company needs paper and it buys in bulk, it won't pay the amount straight away, it'll pay it off over time. So money owed to suppliers. Um, or where a business has bought goods from a shop on account and still owes the supplier money. The business will pay its suppliers at a later stage. Business owners may not have enough of their own money saved to start a business. Therefore, the owner will have to borrow money from the bank. This money that they borrow to start the business is the capital in the business, but it can also be a liability. I want to sum up grade sevens, what we've just learned. Accounting is the information that is needed to understand how the money is used in a business. An accountant will supply this information to the owner of the business. Capital is the startup. It's what is needed to get the business going. Assets are what the business owns. What the business owns. Its possessions. Liabilities are the debts of the business. What is owed. So let's have a quick look at that again. Capital, money, 
and assets put in the business by the owner in order to start the business up. Assets, the possessions of the business, what is owned by the business, and liabilities are the debts of the business, what is owed by them to suppliers or to the bank. In your books, Grade Sevens, I would like you to just write down these, these aspects of a business, just as your keynotes, so that when we do the next section, you will have a better understanding of what accounting concepts are.